You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, Dan? Happy Friday, you two. Yeah. Happy Friday. So yes. Darn it's, fine to be walking the planet alive, ain't it? It, it absolutely is. I'm excited for today. Uh, we got uh, a lot of great stuff going on. So, oh, yeah, uh, there's, there's a couple of great national celebrations happening today, oh, in case like you what? don't know. Uh, it's pizza party day. Ooh. Oh. Who can say no to pizza? Nobody. I'll, I'll be showing up at somebody's pizza party. It's also bike to work day. Ooh, I oh. forgot to do that. Or as I refer to it as seriously, get the bleep out of my way day. <laughs> <laughs> And on a serious note, it's Endangered Species Day. Oh. Day to think about the plants, the insects, the animals that are kind of going by the wayside a little bit. And some of the bigs are uh, part of the top ten list for endangered animals anyway. The giant panda. Yeah. The leatherback sea turtle is mm. struggling. The western lowland gorilla. And uh, in this country, certainly, the middle-aged white guy. So <laughs> I don't think that one's on the list. Give a, give a shout-out. There so. seems to be a whole lot of you. <laughs> there you go. We're everywhere. <laughs> so the leatherback sea turtle. Yes. I wonder... Are there like leatherback sea turtle boots or something? Why why, why are they endangered? What's, what's well, that's the problem. They're leatherback, so they have a propensity to join motorcycle gangs. Oh, yeah. And then it. they get in an accident. It's a violent yeah. lifestyle. It's a lifestyle it is. choice. It is. Sure, that's what Sometimes it is. they. Knifing. Why in the world yeah. do I even ask? They get involved in drugs and alcohol, and, you know, same old story. <laughs> Well, coming up, we're going to have Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Woo! I'm not even kidding. That's what we're calling this. Ranger Dan. (laughs) (laughs) That's on the way on Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. It's time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Hey, I'll give you your mouse back there, Ranger Dan. I'm going to say you took my stuff. <laughs> I took his computer away for a no, second. I don't have my stuff. Ranger Dan's mouse. He's adjusting mouse. the computer monitor you should probably ask me how i became a ranger how did you become a ranger i man? just named myself that <laughs> it was easy enough to do it's like dr heidi yeah, okay makes things up so gather the kids around the radio mom and dad because these are fun facts about critters nice I'm critters excited. from around the world let's take a moment and talk about bats shall we i would love to hear Freaking more about bats, bats. <laughs> Heidi's not a fan of bats. Did you know that the bat is the only mammal that can fly? No kidding. That's a true story. The only flying mammal is a bat. Yep. I didn't know that. that yep. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. squirrels can get up there and get it done, but it's a real they temporary glide. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they really jump and glide like more so than fly. I just fly. thought that was absolutely... And that's only special squirrels, not all squirrels. Well, I know. <laughs> I just want people to realize. This is flying squirrels. <laughs> I just want them to realize that most squirrels don't fly. Just Rocky, but that was kind yeah. of a cartoon, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle, who, by the way... Yeah. Boris Badenoff, Natasha, must kill moose and squirrel. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Not nice. Yeah, they're being uh, called in front of Congress, too, this whole thing going on with Donald Trump and Are they really? Uh, whatever, whatever. They did not so. They're they grasping at straws. On the witness list. It's Natasha pretty crazy. And Boris, huh? So, yeah, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. All right, Ranger Dan, thank you for that <laughs> amazing update. This is why I get paid like I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that is an accurate statement. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it's kind of a blanket statement for everybody around here. So if you see me out and about from here on forth, I would like to be referred to as Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. Hey, Ranger Dan. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Ranger Dan. We'll be back with uh, Water Cooler Talk coming your way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Do you need a gift for a silly friend? Weirdgiftoftheday.com has many ideas. Each day, we share a different weird gift idea. There's no fee to sign up. You don't even need to buy anything. Just follow our page on Facebook to get a laugh every morning. Weirdgiftoftheday.com If you do like an item, you can easily buy it right from the Facebook page. We have a link going right to that page at weirdgiftoftheday.com. 
That's weirdgiftoftheday.com. Sunny 93.3. Time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. This is, have, uh, have you been following this story? Which story? With all, all, all heck is breaking loose. Oh, downtown? At City Hall. Oh, yeah. And there's a $70 million investment or something. I have not. Cool I didn't thing. know about any I, of this until I had the conversation with Dan. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, just yeah, moments this ago. Is, yeah. This is the River City or what is it? River River Center? Yeah, something like that. Town River? River Town? I yeah, don't know something like that. Not anymore. Uh, so they're, they're taking the hotel part out, but we still have a really cool parking no ramp. No, we don't. Well, there's a parking ramp. We don't have <laughs> anything. <laughs> there's nothing it's really cool. there. Here's what... Here's what they're going to have. They're going to have the parking ramp. They're trying to figure out what else to put there. I think that's where Sunny Radio should be located. We'll just put a pup tent on top of your parking ramp, and we'll call it good. From what I'm reading, nothing's ever going to get done anywhere. It's going to get done. Okay. Someday. I have right. faith in our founding fathers. You're so founding optimistic. Fathers. Well, the way, our founding fathers. Yeah, the, the way founding, I'm reading this, and I this is something that's been unfolding for about five years here. Yeah, it's been quite looks a project. Like, looks like the taxpayer, that's me, that's you, is going to be out about 20 mil. So, Is that all? That's yeah, which Only is just a mil? drop in the bucket. Uh, it's the Village River Group. There's been, my, they've been tossed to the wayside now. Contractual so, disputes and everything else. So what happened to the village people on this deal? What what was know. the scoop there? <laughs> they had these big plans. There was going to be two different hotels in there and restaurants and mixed use and the same old blah 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 blah, and things just kind of fell apart. Okay. And that's as far as I know. Well, see, the commissioners, the city had to vote on this, had to bring it in. And back then, five years ago, was then Mayor Mike Uther yeah. was spearheading and driving this thing through because yeah. he was a dynamo. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then everything kind of fell on its butt. And now, again, from the page of the Argus Leader, and again, whoever actually buys this, I just take it. I apologize. <laughs> there was just a guy looking. Whatever. He's in the hall. Anybody seen my paper? I hope you're right first. <laughs> uh, but basically, no one except Teresa Staley, as far as who's on the commission, is even talking to the press about this. Oh, really? Apparently, uh, They're all kind of tight-lipped. City huh? legal eagles are telling them to just, hey, mum's the word. Really? And now a lot of people mm-hmm. just... Uh, Should we see if we can... The uh... is going... Hey, you know what? Get torches and guard we, implements and march on City Hall. So. Should we reach out and see if we can get some of these folks to come in and chat with us about it? Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's probably going to happen. Hey, they're not returning my call. <laughs> and, and perhaps I'm just a simple country bumpkin. Okay. And I certainly am. Ranger Dan. <laughs> but when I see things like this and the trajectory of this city over the past three decades, it's simple to me. Yeah. Just fix the roads. There we go. Just, fix the roads. Just do that one. Do that, and then we can worry about the that's other all stuff. all you need to do. Right. Everything Ranger else will Dan take care of council. itself, man, because that's all there is to it. Let the private sector build and figure stuff out. Stop blowing my dough on nonsense. Exactly. I've had He's it. all fired up. I've had it up to here, man. You need some more coffee, so you go I have that. it. I'm good. You know what I'm going to do? Since becoming a ranger, yes. he's really come <laughs> out of really If you're just joining the show, I'm officially a ranger. <laughs> he's Ranger Dan. Ranger Dan. <laughs> And uh, guess who I'm going to talk to? I'm super excited. I'm going to reach out to Gunner Nelson. Remember I the band Nelson? Sure. Nelson. They're going to be in Sioux City next Saturday, I think it is. Next, uh, yeah, the 25th. I'm going to be chatting with Gunner Nelson here in just a moment. We'll be doing that. And then we'll be back, uh, before you know it here, to uh, wrap things up with entertainment news. That's all on the way on this Friday edition of the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour on Sunny 93.3. Hey, it's T-Shirt Weather. Be sure to show your fun side with a funny T-Shirt from FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. We have several funny shirt designs that will make you look cool while you stay cool. Do you have an idea for your own shirt designs? We can help you make it a reality at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Find thousands of T-Shirt designs from people just like you and add your own designs, too, at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We've got a special guest joining us right now. I'm super excited to say hello to Gunnar Nelson. And uh, there was a rock band, awesome music from the 1990s. The band was called Nelson. It was these twin brothers. These uh, you're the you're the handsome one, right, Gunnar? <laughs> because I'm the one on the phone. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> but you come from a very amazing musical family because you guys have some really cool thing the nelson family the only family in history to have three successive generations of number one hit makers grandpa ozzy nelson then your dad ricky nelson and then your band nelson so the heat is on for your kids isn't it well yeah the pressure is definitely on but uh, who knows i mean Matthew's son ozzy's a great drummer he's only four years old you never know 
That is awesome. Now, the reason we're chatting uh, is because you guys are going to be back in our area. You're going to be at Winna Vegas Casino on the 25th of May for Ricky Nelson Remembered. Let's talk about that show, Ricky Nelson Remembered. How long ago did you put this together? I've seen it twice, and it's amazing. How long ago did you put it together, and how did you guys come up with the idea to do this? Well, about 20 years ago. It's amazing how old I've become, but I look back on this. This was a time... And Matthew and I were out there making our own way. We were really blessed. We were able to sell millions of records of our own to kids who had no idea who Ricky Nelson was. But throughout our journey with our own music, without fail, every single day, we'd have a promoter or a journalist or a fellow musician coming up and saying, hey, why don't you play Garden Party? Why don't you play Hello, Mary Lou? Why don't you play Traveling Man? And, you know, of course, we were trying to make our own way, which we feel comfortable enough now that we have been able to do. And we also wanted to respect our father and his legacy with giving him his own night. And so that's when the idea for Ricky Nelson, remembered, was born. It was actually on the Sticks and Frampton tour that Matthew and I were on. And it was when Peter Frampton came out to us one night and wanted to sing Traveling Man with us. We thought, man, we got to do our own show for our dad. And that's what we put this thing together for. We realized our dad had the unfair advantage of Growing up in front of American eyes and on TV when television was brand new in America, he was the first guy to pioneer the use of television to market music, and he brought rock and roll, which at the time was a fringe art form, into the mainstream American literature long well before Bandstand and all that other all, all those other shows did it. And uh, it, it, because of that, he got uh, over forty top ten hits in his career, sold two hundred eighty million singles. And this show is just really a labor of love for my brother and myself. It's an open love letter to our dad, who was our best friend, and our hero as well. And one of these guys that, uh, man, we could actually play for six straight hours and, and not repeat a Ricky Nelson hit. So it's an honor to do this show. And it's an, it's an amazing show. I, like I said, I've seen it twice myself. And I remember the first time we went to it, I had to convince my wife to come with because she's like, oh, I love Nelson. But she's like, I don't really know Ricky's music. And I said, Heidi, come on, please. This will mean a lot to me. Come with me. And she came with, we left there, saying, and she was like, that was the best show I've ever seen. She had so much uh-huh. fun. It was it was amazing because this is, I kind of felt like we were like sitting in the living room with you guys and you're just telling us stories. I know there were hundreds of other people there, but they were gone for that whole time. It was just us because you brought us oh, right into you. it. It was amazing. It's, it's really unfair, though, man. These songs get us an unfair advantage. Think about it. Traveling Man, Hello, Mary Lou. Won't so down. Believe what you say. I got a feeling. Teenage Idol. It's up to you. Garden Party. Uh, the list just goes on and on and on. Such great, great songs. But we have those 435 episodes of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet to pull from as well to visually help us tell the story. We throw it to the video screens all the time. We tell the stories behind the songs. And especially for people like your wife who work from the with Ricky Nelson's music, it's important when you see these things to realize that these songs were really the foundation of some really seminal artists that, that someone like your wife might know, like uh, Ricky Nelson and those early records with James Burton were the primary influence of Brian May of Queen, of um, Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath, of Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin, and they freely say this, that without those Ricky Nelson records, there might not be their bands that are playing in their way. And man, that just makes me feel great because I love all of those bands that get that when you see the show and a whole lot more. Well, it's a phenomenal show, and they're going to be in the Sioux Falls area, actually just south of Sioux Falls, just south of Sioux City at Winna Vegas Casino. It's a quick little drive, so if you want to go, it's it's absolutely worth the drive. We're actually giving away some tickets. All of the details for that at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio. Gunner, thank you again, sir. Hey, thank you so much, and thank you to everybody out there in listener land for giving the Nelson family the greatest job in the world for the last 100 years. And I think I'm going to let you introduce any song that you want us to play right now. We're going to play one of the songs from Nelson. Oh, from Nelson? Huh. I want you to play After the Rain, specifically from my favorite line in any song that I've written, which is, don't be afraid to lose what was never meant to be. The song's called After the Rain. And here it is right now on Sunny 93.3. As we get to wedding season, many events will involve alcohol. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. 
Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. Call now to learn more at 1-800-290-0759. Or get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Sunny 93.3, it's time for <laughs> Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Uh, so fabulous. Fabulous. And again. Do I, do I introduce you as Ranger Dan here as well, or still just... No, 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 that's just for Ranger Dan's corner. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> No. Do we want people to think that's a different person at that time? Oh yeah, because I'm totally in character when Are I you, do Ranger. Dan. <laughs> you gonna use it? You gonna use an Australian accent or anything? Oh, not at all. Not okay. At all. No, I just put on a hat. Okay, <laughs> it translates to the radio really well. Put and a, a fake mustache. Put on a hat. and I've got a badge. And leader hosen for <laughs> some it. reason. I'm not sure why. Well, what do we have for entertainment news, Ranger? Dan? Well, and again, between the three of us, I don't believe any of us have ever actually watched an episode of Game of Thrones. Not but it is a single one. one of the biggest. It's a big deal. It's one of the biggest things for the past five, six years and, in the country. And I got to say something, because I, I had uh, one of our listeners that likes it. He goes, why are you guys always dogging on the Game of Thrones? I'm like, we've never dogged on it. No. Have we? No. We've never watched it. And I, I don't think I've ever said a negative well, word about it. I will. I, well, I don't like that kind of uh, Heidi doesn't garbage. like anything, though. Heidi, here's the thing. She's, she's never she's, seen it, but it's garbage. Yeah, That's it, it is garbage, because it's that whole historical fighting Nonsense. Well, okay. I think it's more well, of a... Now, d- now Heidi's dogging on it, All but right. I... <laughs> up until this point. Yeah, whoever that listener was, you were correct, sir. I, can, I take back the fact <laughs> that we don't dog on it. We owe you an apology. We and, do. Uh, <laughs> a brand new card table. <laughs> <laughs> can I do the story or where yeah. are we going? What's yes, the story? Here? please do. So, please, let's change the subject. Because this is huge. Apparently some people have not been real happy with, with this season's episode. Yeah. And after this past Sunday's episode of Game of Thrones, it left several fans up set with the trajectory of the whole show. Yeah. Well, a huge fanboy named Dylan D mm. has started a change.org petition. Are oh you? my goodness. <laughs> demanding HBO quote remake Game of Thrones season 8 with oh, competent writers. Gosh. Wow. This, Derek, this, you need to get a life, dude. This thing's got about a quarter million fans what? have signed in on this petition already over the Are you kidding days. me? I don't understand that. Well, you haven't watched season 8, John. Well, I have it, but well, uh, even if I had, would just hurt the feelings of the writers. Yeah, and we're not allowed to hurt people's feelings yeah. anymore. No, you well, except for Heidi, that? who brings up that that she Apparently, doesn't like it. Darren D isn't woke. I mean, Darren? I've seen a lot of people go if a show gets canceled or something. In fact, sometimes a show will be brought back because of the outpouring. Oh yeah, but I've never seen something like this. No, hey, you Stooges need, to, need rewrite to rewrite the rewrite entire it. Like season. Like they're gonna do that. <laughs> I had a chance to visit with a couple of really nice dudes earlier this week, Steve Lemmy and Kevin Heffernan. They were with a show called Super Troopers. Do you remember that the movie? Yeah, mm-hmm. which I think is it's, a lot like Game of Thrones. It's uh, I it's, think it's, it's the sequel. Very almost. Similar. I'm pretty sure it's like almost the same thing. I've heard that. I've never seen Game of Thrones, but uh, <laughs> Super Troopers did <laughs> so well. Alike. <laughs> Another like? Okay. So Super Troopers did so well that the fans demanded and actually funded the sequel. I didn't know that. But it was like a GoFundMe thing that actually produced the sequel to Super Troopers. When I hear things like that and things like the the Game of Thrones petition going on, I'm virtually stunned by the amount of people who really need to go outside. Yeah. It was like, you guys all just need to... Go outside and look around a while. You might be surprised what you find. I don't know. Maybe more your lawn. <clears throat> just saying. <laughs> no matter how you cut it, man. Celebrities love them, hate them, don't care. They are fabulous. Again, Mr. Dan Ferris with our celebrity news. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour on Sunny 93.3.